I never use my middle name. <laughs> the hallmark of 100 black men affiliates throughout the world is mentoring. Many of you who have come here before probably are aware of that. A mentor is a wise and trusted counselor who provides guidance, direction, with an always steady hand. Mike Thurman is at the apex of mentors. I could begin this introduction by providing the standard pair of academic credentials, political accomplishment, but that would be enough to introduce Michael. I met Michael in 1980 when I was the first year law student at the University of Georgia. I soon learned that Michael and his law partners, their law firm, was literally the place to go for all students, black students, white students, male students, female students. He provided everything, clerkships, internships, general guidance. He purchased books, provided financial support, and funded numerous functions for an organization called the Black American Law Students Association. One of my classmates told me that between apartments, and I don't know why it was between apartments, he even slept in Michael's office for a few nights. Michael just didn't help law students. In his law firm helped many other students, high school students, college students, many of whom kind of went astray. There's a guy named Homer Jordan. I'm sure Michael remembers Homer. Some of you football fans may remember Homer. I think he was a four-year starter at quarterback at Clemson. Jimmy Payne, another football star at UGA. All of these guys are folks that were connected with Michael Thurman in some way. He mentored lawyers, law students, at least two law professors, several other folks. Michael was a public servant long before he became a public official. You know, some people get that twisted. He never did. His commitment to people is genuine. Not one of those commitments made for a two-minute soundbite. You see them on TV and in public, and it's almost like two different people. The commissioner is a native Athenian. Attended Payne College, where he graduated cum laude, receiving a bachelor's degree in philosophy and religion. He went on, and I could never figure this out, to the University of South Carolina Law School. Maybe you can explain that one to me. I never asked. But nonetheless, it was not important. In 1986, he became the first African American elected to the Georgia General Assembly for Clark County since Reconstruction. During his legislative tenure, he was the only African-American legislator elected from a majority white district. And I realized, because during the first campaign, how difficult it was because on my 1966 Ford Mustang Fastback, I had a red, white, and blue, I like Mike sticker. And I still like Mike. While serving in the General Assembly, he authored major legislation that provided over $100 million in tax refunds to senior citizens and working families. In 1994, then Governor Zell Miller selected Thurman to direct Georgia's historic transition from welfare to work. This work first program started by Mr. Thurman helped more than 90,000 folks go from welfare dependency to working in our workforce. We saved Georgia taxpayers some 200 plus million dollars. That's a lot of money, particularly considering that we have a significant deficit now. These savings were invested in child care, training, and other support services. Now, Michael is 
Labor Commissioner in 1998. He's been the chair of the Martin Luther King Jr. State Holiday Commission. Now, the first thing that I learned about Mike when I was in law school, as a very young man, perhaps when he was at Payne College, he wrote his first book on the African American history in Clark County. That's not mentioned in his bio. They talk about his second book, published in 2002, entitled Freedom and African American History of Georgia. It's not vanity press. It's not self-published. It's actually legitimate. Now, Michael Thurman, not only is he from Athens and has a significant history in Athens, he's the youngest of nine children of the late Sydney and Vanilla Thurman. Michael Thurman is married to Zola, and they are the proud parents of one daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming my good friend, our Labor Commissioner, Mr. Michael Thurman.